Hey, it's Nancy from Nancy Chu Homes at Keller Williams and J Metro Group. Listen, I have a lot of clients who often ask me questions about what things are going to cost when they sell. And they particularly want to know what kind of um, capital gains they might pay when they go to sell a home. So let's take a couple of brief moments to just have some general conversations about capital gains so that you can bear that in mind if you're thinking about selling your place. Okay. All right. So Taxpayer Relief Act of 1997 basically says that if you have a primary residence that you are currently living in, when you go sell it, if you've been living in it for the last two of five years, then you will get a significant tax break. OK, now, depending on if you are a single filer or if you're filing with a significant other, a spouse, um, these are the numbers are a little bit different. So if you're a single person, single filing, the capital gains on this is going to be you're going to be um, exempt up to the first two hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of gains. Now, that means that if you um, it, it's about the amount of profit that you make on the house. OK, so if you buy a house for five hundred and then you sell it for six hundred, that one hundred thousand is going to be below that two hundred and fifty thousand dollar threshold. So you will not pay capital gains on that, okay? So it's just about the amount of money. So you're exempt up to the first 250, okay? Now, if you're a couple, then you're going to be exempt up to the first $500,000. So any gains that you make on the property up to 500000 is going to be included and exempt. You're not paying taxes on it. Now, that is if you're a couple, okay? So let's go past the exemptions. Oh, and by the way, I, I was going to say, you can only do this once every two years, which makes sense because you are talking about a house that you have lived in within the last two of the five two of the five years in which you've owned it. Okay, so it makes sense that you would only be able to utilize capital gains exemptions once every two years. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about what happens if, you know, you've gone past exemption, you've made more money than that. So now anything above that exemption number, you're going to end up paying capital gains on. So you'll end up paying those taxes. So let's talk a little bit about how much money that might be. So the remaining amount of gains is going to be taxed at either 0%, 15%, or 20%, depending on your income. OK, so, for instance, if your income as a single person or as a married couple, um, single person less than forty thousand four hundred dollars a year, married couple um, less than eighty thousand eight hundred a year, then you'll be paying zero on uh, capital gains because you're if, if that's your income, then you're you're exempt. OK. Now, if you are making for a single person between the 40,400 and 445,850 dollars, then you're going to be subject to the 15% bracket. Now, if you're in a couple and filing jointly, then that number is going to be between 80,800 and 501,600,000. Okay? 501,600, all right? Um, I just so you guys know, I, I know that there's a lot of numbers being thrown around. I will post a chart at the end of this so that you just have like a straightforward chart to look at and you'll be able to, you know, screenshot that and keep it for your for your records. OK, now anybody who is making higher than that. OK, so in other words, as a single person, if you're making more than four hundred and forty five thousand dollars, eight hundred and fifty or as a pair, you are making more than 501, 600, then you're going to be taxed at a 20% bracket for anything past, past the exemption. Okay. All right. So now just so you know that if you're an investor, um, the IRS does charge an additional 3.8% on top of that 20% gain. Okay. So that's if you're an investor, especially if you've never lived in the property. All right. Now I have heard, and I'm, um, I'm afraid I'm going to shoot myself in the foot if I say this out loud, but I have heard that sometimes the capital gains, um, if you have to sell within that two year period, could be potentially prorated. I would tell you a lot of this probably depends on your particular um, filing status and your particular financial situation. So if I were going to um, do my due diligence and say, Talk to your accountant. Your accountant will know better than me about your specific situation. Okay. Now, just be aware. We all know that right now the America, 
the American Families Plan is on the docket. I don't know if um, I don't know what the chances are of it being passed, but that is, you know, the um, that is the bill that's being developed right now. And my understanding is that it would change and possibly increase that top federal rate on capital gains. Okay. Now I don't have, and also on investment gains, I don't have specific numbers on it right now. And I do think that, um, you know, uh, because a lot of state and local capital gains are kind of different and kind of all over the place. So I can't really speak to that. I can only talk to the federal. I think that this can really put a lot of people's potential, um, you know, tax liabilities at, you know, uh, up to about 29% um, in the country. So that's kind of rough. Anyway, I will tell you that my understanding is that they're really only looking to increase the tax liabilities of folks who are making, you know, over a million dollars a year. So for the vast majority of us, it's probably not going to apply. Okay. All right. So those are some general rules of thumb about capital gains. And like I said before, when we end this video, I'll make sure that you guys have, you know, a chart so you can look at it. And of course, if you have any questions, you know, you're always welcome to talk to your accountant. Or if you don't have a good accountant, you can always call us. I have great accountants. I would love to share with you if you want, um, if you're in the New Jersey area. Okay. All right. Any questions you have about buying or selling a home, you can always reach me, 917-992-3098. That is actually my cell phone. Yes, I actually give out my cell phone on videos. <laughs> so if you need me, feel free to reach out. Once again, we are still looking for coats. We're going to hold out for coats all the way through the end of the year. So if you are still trying to clear out your closet and you would like to give away some coats, I will still happily take them. Once again, you've got my cell phone, 917-992-3098. Don't forget to check us out, LOL Girls at the LOL Girls Podcast on Apple Podcasts. And have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. Have a great one, guys. Talk soon.